life. Welcome to our lunchtime worship on Tuesday, March the 16th, 2021. St. John's acknowledges that the church buildings and all living in Victoria are on the ancestral lands of the Lekungan speaking people. Let us worship the divine creator, word and spirit, amen. God is with you and also with you. This is the day that the divine has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth. Amen. Blessed is the creator, for God has heard the voice of our prayer. Our psalm today is Psalm 46, verses 1 to 3 and 10. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings of this life. Keep us mindful of the needs of others as we walk together through uncertain times. Help us to know that you are with us especially when we are faced with challenges that seem too large for us to handle alone. Remind us that we are surrounded with your constant love. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, you invite us deeper into your world, your people, your Lent, May this time be one of outward focus. Help us live a Lent focused on freedom, generosity, and encounter. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life. The unfolding purposes of God forever at work in ourselves and the world. Today, let us keep in our hearts all those affected by COVID-19. Let us pray for a time when together, we can live without fear and anxiety. Wrap those that are suffering physically and mentally in our prayers. With our love, give them the strength to recover and find peace. For those who are particularly vulnerable, we pray for safety and protection. For all who experience fear or anxiety, we pray for peace of mind, peace of mind and spirit. For affected families who are facing difficult decisions between food on the table or public safety, we pray for policies that recognize their plight. We pray that no family will face financial burdens alone. For those who are afraid to access care due to immigration status, we pray for recognition of the God-given dignity of all. For our brothers and sisters around the world, we pray for shared solidarity, for public officials and decision makers 
we pray for wisdom and guidance. During this time, may your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all. Grant peace, grant comfort, grant healing. Be with us, Lord. Amen. Gracious God, accept these prayers in the name of our brother, Jesus Christ. Amen. A poem by Joyce Rupp. The cosmos dreams in me while I wait in stillness, ready to lean a little further into the heart of the holy. I, a little blip of life, a wisp of unassuming love, a quickly passing breeze, come once more into Lent. No need to sign me with the black bleeding ash of palms, fried and baked. I know my humus place. This Lent, I will sail on the graced wings of desire, yearning to go deeper to the place where I am one in the one. Oh, may I go there soon in the same breath that takes me to the stars when the cosmos dreams in me. Thank you for sharing in our lunchtime worship today. Go in peace to love and serve. Thanks be to God. <laughs>